guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just having a chilled out day just going through like my primark haul because i've bought so many new homeware bits unfortunately they're not going to be for me and mickey's home they're actually going to be for a couple of shepherd's huts that we are taking to a show soon so i get the best job of dressing the huts so i've been out shopping and obviously as you see by the title of this video i've gone to primark and oh my goodness primark is just doing amazing in the homeware section there's so many lovely bits but i also did pick up a couple of items of clothing but before we get into this video i wanted to say a big thank you for keto cycle for sponsoring this video so if you haven't heard of keto cycle before keto cycle is an online app that is based around the keto diet so there's so many different things um you can do using the app as you guys know dieting for me isn't just about losing weight it's also about trying to keep a little bit more fit and healthy maybe definitely eating a bit healthy and trying different foods because on the app there's actually different workouts that you can do in your own home without using any gym equipment so i really do love that as you guys know the gyms have opened but um i don't know about you but i feel like a little bit nervous still going into a gym um and then also sometimes gyms can be quite expensive but with the keto cycle app there's so many different workouts on there and like i said you don't need to use um or own any gym equipment so i think that's really good also you get your own kind of like online like personal assistant so the keto app has an all-in-one keto assistant so a keto diet assistant covers all related areas such as workouts and nutrition motivation and tracking i think that's really good because then you can kind of tailor your keto diet to your own needs and preferences unlike other kind of apps and diets and stuff i've tried in the past i feel like they haven't actually like adapted the diet or like the workouts to you and also there's a healthy eating guide which guys i absolutely love so like i said earlier most apps um just give you a basic kind of like meal plans to follow but you can actually tailor the meal plans to yourself so as you guys know i'm pescatarian so i can adapt all of the meal plans on here to be pescatarian or if you're vegan if you're veggie or if you're really into fish or you're just really into more meaty kind of foods or you really love salads you can um, tailor all of the meals to your own needs also all the recipes are really simple and easy to follow and what i love about the recipes is there's no like ingredients that is going to be really hard to get hold of all ingredients that are really expensive so it just makes it so easy to use and follow the plans on here for when you're cooking your meals and also it's super cheap guys it's definitely a fair price for all of the benefits that you're getting out of the app like i said there's workouts on there there's an online assistant there's also meal plans and i just feel like this is the perfect app if you want to lose a little bit of weight eat a little bit healthy or if you just want to like keep yourself like a little bit busy i find that's really good good as you guys know i sometimes do suffer from anxiety and i find sometimes this really does help with that because i'm just keeping my mind like a little bit motivated and yeah i really do love this app and keto cycles kindly given me a discount code to share with you guys i'll put it here on the screen and i'll put it in the description box down below with all the details on the keto cycle app and how you can download it it's available on ios and android so go and download it and check out if you want to have a little look um anyway let Let's get on with today's video so like i said i've got a lot of homeware stuff i'm going to start off with like all the clothing and then go on to like the accessories and i've got a bit of beauty as well so i'm going to start off with these sandals i know you're probably thinking that how it's coming up to like autumn winter but i feel like the weather is still kind of like nice and warm and i just live in sandals and flip-flops you're still like planning to go away on holiday or you're still really into wearing nice sandals definitely checking out the sandal section so i actually picked up these in in a green and i think i also have these in another color a gold color which i think i showed you in my last haul but i picked them up in this nice yellow color they're all now three pounds in there so i thought that was a bargain even if you just get them now and save them for next summer 
Um, and then moving on, guys. Oh, my goodness. This is, like, the cutest cardigan ever. So, I don't know about you, but I do follow Primark on Instagram. But I always find that every time they show something on Instagram that I literally want, they don't have it in my store. And I saw this cardigan on their Instagram, and I fell in love with it. And I was like, our store's not going to get it. And I literally just popped into the city. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to nip into Primark. And they had so many of these in there. I actually had a pop into the city the next day and i cut through primark and these have literally sold out straight away and so it's like really nice like i don't know if you can see like the um the fabric it's kind of like a really nice fluffy fabric but it's not like itchy i don't think this is that kind of material it feels so expensive and this was only 13 pounds i thought that was such a good bargain and the pattern goes all the way on the back i just think this is so nice because you can wear this as is or you can wear it open and the buttons are really cute as well they're like all like um, marbly but yeah honestly if you see this in your primark definitely grab it for 13 pounds honestly so nice i think it's really on trend at the moment as well i want to start buying things that are more staple pieces that i can wear with so many different outfits and wear in like different seasons and um i've been wanting like a really nice blazer that i can really dress up and dress like really casually and i think i found the perfect one so you might see a few like stains on it but it's just because i didn't realize when i bought it that it actually has like marks on so i've sprayed like um stain remover on it so please ignore their marks but it's i can't describe the color i don't think it's really shown you on camera well it's like a greeny gray color I can't describe it, but honestly, it's such a really good quality blazer. And I think this was only £22, which was so affordable. I got it in size 12. Size 10, it did fit. But I want to wear this during, like, the winter, like, autumn, winter, with, like, jumpers underneath um, and, like, layer it. So I got size 12, so it was a bit more of, like, an oversized fit. I think even size 14 would have looked quite good. It's got shoulder pads. Honestly, it's just, like, a really nice blazer. And honestly, this looks like something that you'd pick up in like Zara or Warehouse for about £50. Um, definitely would say if you see that in your Primark, grab one and give it a go. Give it a little try on and see if you like it because it's such good quality. Right, moving on, I then also bought some jeans. So normally in Primark jeans, I have to get size 12 because I find that their jeans come up quite small. And then in the skinny jeans, I thought I was definitely going to need size 12 or maybe 14. But... Um, I saw this colour in there. These were, I think, £10. Um, and I really loved them because it's just like a simple skinny jean. There's no rips in them, but the ends are slightly like, you know, ripped looking. Um, so it's kind of like casual, but you can dress these up. But I really love the colour because it's like a like a blacky blue colour. It's really dark. And I just thought that's such a nice like colour and would look so nice like in the autumn winter. It does have slight like fake rips, but there's no like rips in the hole in like the knees, which I like. Um but yeah, I had to get these in size 10. They only had size 10 left, and I was like, they're not gonna fit. And honestly, look how tiny they look. As soon as you put them on, they proper sh like stretch and shape around your body. Um I then also grabbed some underwear. Uh, I sometimes I feel weird showing you guys like underwear, but I feel like I'm going to show you anyway. So this was a three pack of high-waisted high leg briefs. Yet again, like the jeans, the underwear depends on what type of underwear you get in there. I feel like you have to size up or size down. So I got these in size medium, which are 12 to 14. And it's just like, normally I don't go for underwear like this. That's like that material and see-through because I find it just when you wear like jeans and that it like doesn't i feel like it pulls your um underwear down like when your jeans fall down because it's so like shiny does that make sense um but yeah it's just like a free pack of like bikini like briefs i just thought they were really nice colors and i thought you know how instead of getting boring like black granny pants <laughs> go and get some nice pants so i got them right moving on i think that's all the clothing i've now got some makeup -y bits i'm going to show you so the first thing i'm actually going to show you is i picked up this free pack of like bamboo travel bottles i just thought they were really nice and aesthetically pleasing i've already used the other two so you get one big one or is, are they is that the same no they're three different sizes um and it was three pound fifty and i just thought they were quite nice I then also grabbed, if they are in here, yes, I grabbed the little travel jars with bamboo lids. These are £3. They do have, like, standard, 
um, plasticky ones in there which are like probably half the price but I just really like the bamboo look I just thought it was really nice and I think these are like eco-friendly made from like recycled bamboo which is really nice then also picked up a set of candles which I know is random because it's not part of the beauty section but these were reduced to two pounds comes in this really cute little box it was a normally five pound but yeah for two pound I thought it was really good um little bargain and it's their Primark retreat range so you get two little candles in the box one is blush jasmine and one is cedarwood and they contain soy wax blend candles so these are a little bit more eco-friendly these are better for you as well if you've got children or if you've got like asthma or if you've got pets um soy wax is much more like eco-friendly and better for you when you're like burning your candles and um I just really like the packaging as well. I just thought it was really nice. And then I got a load of makeup, guys, okay? Because normally I don't get, like, makeup from Primark. But I wanted to give this a go because they've got, like, a vegan range in there. And they were, had these long wear natural luminous serum foundation. So I thought I'd give these a go. I actually picked it up in shade 222, which is... Um, like their neutral range and then I picked up shade 322 in the neutral range they're six pounds each I would say if you're like my skin tone um and you want it to look a little bit more like bronzy a little bit more like sun-kissed then I would definitely go for 222 if you're like a little bit more tanned but you've got quite neutral skin I would definitely go for the shade um 322 um I then also picked up some of the prep and perfect range so I picked up which I feel like this is leaking out everywhere which is good because this is all oil um these were three pound each I picked up the oil to milk cleanser this has no scent um so it doesn't it has no scent but it does have like a slight smell if that makes sense it smells kind of oily um but i honestly do find this is really good it's got avocado oil in i think yeah and jojoba and it's gentle cleanse and moisturize and, and it helps remove waterproof makeup as well i just find this is nice once i've used my original cleanser i like to use this after because i find it does keep my skin a little bit moistured so I got that and then I also picked up their Prep and Perfect Daily Soothe and Tonic. This is exfoliating, toning, prep for your makeup. It's got AHA in, which I don't know what that is, aloe vera, and it's got that glues glycosonic acid saying that totally wrong aren't i but i found this has been really good on my skin when i've had a few breakouts i found it's like really helped to kind of like soothe the spots and heal them quicker so um i definitely would recommend this i then also which i haven't tried it's the relaxing night cream so this is 95 percent um natural and it's vegan and it's got chamomile and aloe vera in the only thing is they didn't actually have like a day cream they only had the night cream they did have like the um makeup removing like cleansing balm in the same range i can't even open the box but um i thought i'd give this a go because as you guys know i am trying to like convert like all of my makeup all of my body and my hair care stuff to be like more natural and all vegan so this is what it looks like the tub and like the cream as you can see i haven't used it and it smells nice it's got like a nice scent but it's like a natural scent i try and find things that don't smell too perfumed because i feel like if it smells really perfumed then they've obviously added like chemicals in there that you don't really need so from the same like um vegan range i picked up the um concealers so i picked up one to contour and obviously one to like put under my eyes so i picked up to say um the color 132 in neutral in this shade like the for my under eyes and then for my contour i picked up shade 512 in neutral and i thought i'd give these a go they say three pound fifty on but they were actually only three pounds when i went to like the till so i grabbed them i then also grabbed like one of their blushes this shade I absolutely love. They're only one pound and I honestly do swear by the Primark blushes. I really love them. This is Sincerity and it does have like a slight shimmer in it, like a gold shimmer. And I do really love that for like a nice kind of natural like blush look. And then also from the same vegan range, I picked up the Sheer Glow Finishing Powder. It's got like a slight glow in it. So it is similar to like a smells nice it's similar to like a kind of highlighter but it's like a finishing kind of powder so i thought this would be good if i just want to use like some cc cream or like bb cream or like tinted moisturizer and just add that over for like a little extra glow like a little natural look and i got the shade light in 111 and then this is like a tiktok viral and i thought i'd give it a go the only thing i don't like about it is very perfumey 
um, which smells nice but like I said earlier I'll try and want to go for things that aren't so perfumed because yeah I just feel like it's got chemicals in there you don't really need and it's the prep and perfect vitamin and Enri enriched moisturizer primer this is apparently meant to be similar to the bobby brown one which is in a tiny little pot like this for eight pounds and honestly i put this on and my makeup just looked so flawless it literally looked airbrushed it was honestly i can't describe it and my makeup did not move even though i literally was sweating i absolutely love this and it's even nice as just putting on your skin to just keep it nice and refreshed but like i said it's just very perfumed it's a nice perfumed smell but i feel like it's not like a natural kind of like smell um and then moving on now guys to all the homeware bits i feel like this video is going to be so long because i've got so much stuff to show you so the first thing i picked up which is really dusty <laughs> this was eight pounds and it's just like a little um shelf so good thing about it because it has a like a flat bottom you can actually put this on like a tabletop a side table a dressing table but then it also has little like bar like little bar screw hook things there so you can actually put it on the wall as well which is really good and i loved it because it had like the reflecting like mirror like shelves which really do need a dust um and it's got this really nice little gold frame so um it's so beautiful i think this would look so nice in a bathroom or on your dressing table with like all your skincare stuff on just think how it looks so nice so the next things i picked up these are actually for me and mickey's van i'm gonna get all the pieces that i bought out for the van now so i bought um some little like collapsible like crates i thought these are going to be perfect to put bits and pieces in for the van i purposely bought these so hopefully they'll go in the little bathroom cupboard and i can put all like my makeup and stuff in they had loads of different colors in there they had like a black and a cream and also like a purple and a pinky color but the van is all these colors so i picked up these colors and they're all one pound fifty and they did have bigger sizes for three pounds um but i thought these were so good and i also picked up one of these little um i can never say that macrame um little hangers like wall hangers i did show you one of my last haul and it was a bigger version i think that one was six pounds this one was four pound and it's a little um a little little version um but it has like a little pocket on the front so you can i i don't know you, i would use this to put like a little fake plant in i just thought that was really cute and for four pound i thought it was so affordable so i grabbed that one for the van and the bigger version i'm going to use in the house because i feel like the smaller one will fit better in the van because there ain't going to be a lot of wall space but i thought that was so cute um i then also picked up this candle i'm really gutted because i went back to get some of the other um scents but they had sold out and um these were only two pounds which i think was so good because this looks so expensive this is from their feel good collection and this is the candle positivity and it has loads of natural um essential oils in and i think it is a oh no it's just a normal wax i think um and it burns up to 30 hours it smells so good um but this has got lotus flower and jasmine in it smells so so good so first off, i'm gonna get this out of the way i bought a few of these um and it's just like eucalyptus kind of like stem and they're all one pound fifty i feel like you can't have enough of these around your house they literally i have these everywhere um so i picked up a few of them i then also picked up this picture to match which i thought would look really nice in the bathroom it has eucalyptus leaves on and it says peace and this was three pound fifty so i also picked up this jar um i just thought this was going to look really nice in the hut just on show in the kitchen area um this was eight pounds i would even have this in my kitchen um with flowers in um it's really nice um little jar it's like a glass jar and it has like rattan on it and for eight pounds i thought it looked really expensive so yeah i'm happy i picked that up i then also picked up a two pack of these twisty candles i've already got one in my um office room um and yeah they were one pound fifty each and yeah you get two in a pack they also done this candle um in this color as well so um but i needed the white for one of the huts so i went for the white ones um but yeah they have these candles in there I, it's just a plain unscented like shaped pillar candle they had these in white as well and this was only two pound 
I would say though be careful because even though I wrapped this up in one of the items of like clothing that I bought it still got a little bit bashed um, but I just thought this was really nice like staple candle just to have as like a decoration. I feel like these are really trendy and for £2 I thought that was so affordable. Then I picked up a couple of other jars which I thought are really nice for flowers or just for decoration on the side. I'm going to actually use these as flower pots. So this one was £6 and this one was £8. I think these are so nice. This is like a smoky like black grey colour. Um, but it slightly does sometimes look green um and yeah look at this one i thought that was so nice i absolutely love that i wish i actually bought one for like my bedroom in her i think this would be really good to put makeup brushes in and this was six pounds and it's like really nice thick glass as well um i then also grabbed some little candles i actually got this candle holder they had this in pink and a clear color and it's only two pounds I think you can use this both ways. Yeah, you can use this both ways. So you can use this as like a pillar candle holder or you can turn it round like that and have it as a tea light holder, which I think is so good for only, what, £2? And then I also just picked up this little green candle. This was 60p. I can't go wrong for that for 60p, can you? And it's a green leaf and basil candle and it smells absolutely lovely but I got it because it was just like a nice green colour because one of the huts is going to be like green and blue and then I picked up a little reed diffuser for ATP the reed diffusers in Primark are so affordable and they do really work and smell absolutely amazing and this is Into the Meadow which is white lily and blossom I absolutely love these I always put a couple of these in the show huts when we go to the show because everyone always comes and say how nice it smells it smells like more homely then I also put picked up the autumn sunset which is peach and nectarine I so can't wait to unwrap this one and give it a smell you can't smell it through like the box but I reckon that's gonna smell absolutely amazing right that bag is empty we're now gonna move on to the last bag before this haul is way too long um, I picked up another little vase. This one is just, I guess, for candles or it's just going to be for flowers because you can't use this as an actual flower vase unless you put a like a vase inside it um this is so lightweight this was six pounds which i do think is quite expensive for what it is because it's literally just a bit of thin metal but this is going to go so well in one of the huts you can see one hut's going to be blue green and silver and then one's going to be like pinky purpley and gold i picked up this as like a little decoration for the side this was five pounds yeah it's so pretty isn't it i thought it was so cute for five pounds and then i picked up this little pink and gold like rim candle holder this was one pound yeah again so affordable and they had so many colors in there and then i have bought a few of these already for some of the show huts we've done in the past and i've bought some for around our home um and it's a hanging um like fake plant on a chain and this is literally six pounds so affordable um this is what it looks like and it comes here on a chain i've just got to untangle it all and it's just like a hanging plant these are honestly so nice and then lastly guys we have another fake plant and this was only £2.50 which I thought was so good because I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive than that comes in this really nice tribally little pot with a little plant in top and they had so many different style plants as well in the same like um pot but I went for like this little one so yeah um anyway guys i'm literally when we go to the show i definitely will take some photos and show you of how i've used all the accessories to dress the hat don't forget to go and check out the keto cycle app though guys i've linked everything in the description box down below as well as my discount code which is harriet10 um all the details like i said are in the description box i love you guys see you in the next video bye